my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella, and today's video is going to be another Christmas decorate with me and we will be tackling the master bedroom. So I will be showing you guys how I style our bedroom in a nice neutral Christmas way while keeping it super cozy as always. So grab a cup of tea, hot chocolate, coffee, whatever floats your boat and hang out with me while we decorate my bedroom. Hi friends, I hope you have a wonderful day today. We've just got a busy day of getting stuff done around the house, but I'm super excited to share with you guys this master bedroom decorate with me video. I always love breaking out the garland, bringing in some twinkle lights and just all those cozy feels, especially in the bedroom. I feel like it's one of those things people focus on the living room and the kitchen, all the common areas, but it's super important that you have a great space to help ground yourself that just brings you so much joy at the end of the day. So one of my favorite parts about our bedroom is that I took the time to get neutral bedding and that way when it comes to each season and I want to change things up, I don't need to go out buying new duvet covers, new Euro shams, new everything. I can just swap out my front pillow and my throw blanket and it will vastly change the entire look of the room. So both the brown blanket I'm taking off her bed and the neutral one I'm putting on it are the Castelluna Knit Throw. They're the coziest, comfiest blanket. I love adding them in to bring more texture into the space. So I'm just gonna quickly Windex the mirror and dust off the nightstand so that way before we're decorating, we have a nice, clean, blank slate. So a quick tip when you have a very big opening on a base, just grab a smaller like utensil crock or something and put it into your vase so that way it helps gather your stems together better. And I'm going to be using some of the A Floral and Kirkland's Norfolk stems. As well as some Hobby Lobby cedar ones. I absolutely love decorating with these stems. They just look so beautiful. They have been going in and out of stock on A Floral and Kirkland's. I did find some similar ones on Etsy. I have not purchased those, so I can't vouch if they are exactly the same, but I'll have them linked down below if you would like to get the same look. And I'm also gonna add a couple of these white berry stems. So I told you guys we have a weekend full of getting stuff done on the to-do list, but I would love to know what you guys have planned. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And lastly, we're going to add in a reindeer for a nice simple touch. Now it would totally be to like fine to leave these little pumpkin pods in because Thanksgiving hasn't come yet. But I just want to switch it up a little bit because it'll be here before we know it. And I could totally just leave it as pine cones. But Creative Co-op sells these little bags of ornaments. So I'm just going to put some ornaments in 
with the pine cones. And these do come in a ton of different colors. Um, and a really fun thing too is that you can take them and you can make your own garland out of it. You can just string them all together. I love what a fun touch it is filling those little trivet boxes with the pine cones and the ornaments. It's just such a subtle way of bringing in that seasonal and holiday spirit to the space. But what we're going to be doing on the nightstand is doing the same arrangement we did on the other side on this side of the bed. So when it comes to styling my arrangements, I really love to add in at least two different types of greenery and then have one piece that pops. And so for this one, I have the Norfolks, the cedar, and the white berry is the pop element. I just think the differences in texture really elevate the look of it. And same as the other side, we are going to be adding in one of those gold reindeer. So now I'm going to be taking out the olive tree and bringing in our skinny Christmas tree for our bedroom. I have to know, are you guys a bedroom tree person or do you just stick to the one in your living room? Leave me a comment down below. So if you're ever short a tree skirt or a collar, you can always use a throw blanket and just toss it around the base of your tree. So this is a super skinny pencil tree. I got it from Michael's four years ago now. It is the first Christmas tree that my husband and I had because our first home had no room whatsoever. So this one is super, super tiny. It has seen better days. There are some lights out. There are some branches missing. Maybe I'll find something in after Christmas clearance to replace it, but it is still a fun memory to have in the house. So for another cozy touch, I'm going to be adding this gold tray and a planter with some of the cedar stems and a nice candle.
you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. I know that there are so many Christmas Decorate With Me videos popping up all over YouTube and I just want you to know how much I appreciate it that you took the time to spend it with me here today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. I have plenty more Christmas decorating inspiration coming your way and you definitely do not want to miss out on it. Until my next video, I will see you guys. Bye.